Um, one of the first points that I wanted to make, because I, I run into this a lot when I'm, I'm helping um, entrepreneurs start out with social media, is that they need to get their head out of the sand. Um, you get so caught up in your business world that you don't really think about what your audience, your targeted customers are going to be looking for in terms of you and your business. And we've said this many times before, but they're looking for a conversation. They're not looking to get bombarded with here, buy, you know, buy this now, or, or there are some people that are bargain hunters. Don't get me wrong. It depends on the type of business. But overall, if you look at social media just for what it is, it is people interacting with one another, and they want uh, to have... There you go. You're good. Okay, go ahead. I'm good? Okay. Yep. Sorry, pick that back up. Uh, okay, so I need to get back to my list. Um, anyway, one I have sat down with, with um, a potential client, and um, they were just so concentrated in their particular area that they couldn't see the possibilities that social media could offer their business in terms of reaching out to a larger audience out there. They were just kind of thinking more local-based, and certainly their line of business could be more broad-based and could you know, reach out to, to more people in the United States and potentially create more leads for them. So sometimes they have to just get their head out of the sands and, and step back and kind of put yourself in the position of the, you know, the, the, the audience that you're trying to reach and think about if I was looking at a business, what would I want to see on their social media? Would I want to see them trying to sell me every single post or would I want them to, to actually have some kind of a relationship with me and maybe engage in a conversation with them? So that's, that's the first thing. Um, the second thing was to tailor your post to the, to, to the audience that you want to reach. Um, if you are, um, say in real estate, for example, and you have a particular age group of people, let's, I'm just going to throw out a number, let's say you're trying to reach people that are 50 to, to 65. You're not going to necessarily post the same kind of content on your social media, um, you know, if you, unless you were going to um, target somebody else in a different age range. If you're not going to put the same thing, in other words, for a 20 to 30 year old that you would for a 50 to 60 year old on your social media. So just be aware of that. And depending on you know um, what your product or brand is, you're going to want to think about how how much of that audience are you trying to capture. There are certain things that you can put out there that certainly would appeal to to many people in different age groups. But if you want to get more specific, you can do that depending on what your product or your brand is or your service. So that was one of the um, the next things. And then. Um, Use compelling photos that are relevant to your, your product or your service. You're not going to um, put a picture up of a Ford minivan if, if you are um, selling something that is not even car related. Or if you're a doctor, you're, you're going to want to post something that shows a patient, uh, you serving a patient. Uh, maybe something about a tip or, or something like that that's relevant, but you're not going to post a beauty ad uh, about something else. So that's it has to be relevant, it has to make sense, and it has to be compelling enough that somebody might want to uh, engage in a comment about it or share about it. That's kind of the goal because you want to have a conversation with people, and the only way to, sometimes to get that started is to put something out there that that might trigger that. So that um, that's another one. And then uh, using video more often um, than not. I, I don't see a lot of people using video uh, on their social media, and I think this is the um, the, the big buzz this year and, and being promoted on the you know a lot of people who are talking about social media is to use video, and you can just use your cell phone uh, to do that. You don't need anything necessarily too professional, depending on what type of video you want to present. But if you're going to do a behind-the-scenes thing, which is very popular right now, uh, take your video camera along with you. For example, um, Charles Greenberg, being in the, the travel industry, 
if he goes on a cruise, it'd be kind of neat if he says, okay, you know, here we are, we're on such and such cruise line, I'm going to go explore this portion of the boat and I'm going to take you with me. And that would be kind of a, a fun thing for, for most people to, to watch, uh, especially if you've never been on a, a cruise ship before. And what a better way to sell that um, than to, to bring the people along with you and then post it up on your social media. So that was um, one of my big things is video is, is really popular and more people need to be using it now. Um, one of the things that I see a lot is that people get real gung-ho about social media. Uh, you know, they get gung-ho about putting their posts and things out there and then after about oh, 30, 45 days, you know, life happens and oh well I'll get to that tomorrow or I'll get to that the next day and and um, um, anyway, sorry, uh, you want to be able to have uh, a commitment of regular posting at the regular amount of intervals so that people see that you're serious about making that commitment to offer them valuable information on a, um, on a consistent basis and that you want to engage. You have to be available to respond to any comments or shares or anything that uh, your, your, your audience out there might engage in on your social media after you put up a post. Most uh, people will engage within the first five hours of a post. If you can get to them within the first hour, that lets them know, hey, there's a live person on the other end of this uh, you know, equation here, and they want to talk to me. This is really kind of cool. Um, like I had mentioned before in one of my previous um, uh, podcasts was that Ford spent, uh, I think they created an event where people could actually spend a half hour talking to the CEO live across one of the social media platforms. And, and how often do any of us even get to get past a secretary, much less the CEO, to have a conversation with them? and ask specific questions about their product. I thought that was really genius for them to do that and it was and it proved to be a very popular thing so that's something to keep in mind. Um, and that was pretty much it that I had for my tips for today.